everyone, this is Keith K. Welcome to my Minecraft survival series. And today we are going to start with um, surviving your first night. So to get started, we actually have to create a world. Um, so if you've got Minecraft launched, just go ahead and click on single player. We will create a new world. I'm just going to call this survival series. Okay, and then there's a couple different choices you hear, have here for game mode. Survival is the most common and what I think most people typically play. Um, that is that you can explore, craft, gather resources. Um, you have to address hunger and health and, and those sorts of things. But if you die, uh, you will respawn. So if you've got uh, several days or even hundreds of days into a world, um, you won't lose everything. On the contrary, Hardcore gives you just one life, and um, if you die in Hardcore, that's it. That world is locked, and you'll have to delete it. I typically don't play this, but I do actually enjoy it when I'm playing Survival Island style. Um, I find that that really just kind of adds to the challenge of a Survival Island world. Lastly, there is creative mode, um, which allows you to uh, build whatever you want. You have unlimited resources. You don't get attacked. You don't have to deal with hunger and so forth. Um, and that can be fun if you really want to use Minecraft more for a building uh, tool and, um, you know, try out building different types of buildings. It's also really excellent, um, you know, when you start to play around with redstone circuits, if you want to uh, work out your circuitry in creative mode first um, before you build it in a uh, survival mode game, that's the way to go. A couple of other options. I usually don't mess with any of this, especially early on. Um, but the, you know there are some things you can play around with. You can turn off the generation of structures, but you're going to want those temples and villages and so forth. I just leave the world type default. I don't start with the bonus chest. I think that really just takes away from the challenge of your first day or two. Um, and turn off cheats. You know, as you start to play, you can certainly uh, explore around what some of the cheat codes are. Um, the last thing is a seed for the world generator. You can um, you know, search the web for different seeds for different types of things. You can even just play around with it. Um, there are you know, surprises lurking for uh, you know, different um, seeds that you put in here, and you can certainly have some fun with that. But for our purposes, again, we'll just leave this as default. Go ahead and click Create New World. All right, so here we are in our brand new world. Uh, it may take a minute to spawn in. <clears throat> and the first thing we've got to deal with is getting some shelter because once the sun goes down, uh, things can get pretty nasty. All kinds of monsters will come out and try to kill you, blow you up, shoot you with an arrow, um, suck your brains out. So <clears throat> we have um, we have 10 minutes of daylight each day, uh, followed by 10 minutes of night. And until we build a bed, that we can sleep in and bypass the night time, um, we're going to have to uh, find a way to stay safe for 10 minutes. So we have the sun coming up over here. It's going to trace an arc across the sky and end up setting over here. Uh, so that's our clock. We can keep an eye on the sun to make sure that we are not wasting too much time. Now the first thing I like to do is a quick reconnaissance around to see you know what we have in the area nearby and as I'm doing that you'll see I usually run around and uh, just hit this grass I just hit it with the left mouse every so often it will drop a seed as you see here okay and seeds will be important later when we need to make some food uh, speaking of food the other things we want to kind of look for are any food sources so whether those are pigs or chickens um, we can fish eventually, but we're going to need some string for that. But, you know, primarily what I'm looking for are exposed resources. Sometimes you'll have uh, some coal or some iron just kind of sitting on the ground just for the taking. Okay. And so we'll do a quick spin around the nearby area. We're not going to go too far. I made this mistake early early on, the first couple times I played, of getting too far away from where you first spawn. Where you first spawn is called your spawn point. And if you die, guess where you're going to reappear? You're going to reappear in the spawn point. Oh, look at this. All right, well, we'll come back to this much later. We've got some wild wolves. We can tame those guys later to 
Yeah, how you doing, buddy? Uh, we don't have what we need to tame them, so we're just going to leave them alone. Uh, but as I was saying, um, early in the game, you don't want to get too far away from your spawn point because, like, you will, if you die, you will come back right at your spawn point. And, you know, if you've, if you've uh, explored quite a bit, gone days and days away from your spawn point, <clears throat> and then you die before you've had a chance to reset your spawn point, you're kind of hosed. So I think <clears throat> this is gonna this is gonna end up being a pretty decent spot um, to build a little settlement right here. Okay, maybe even have a bit of a watchtower up there. So the things that I uh, look for early. Certainly food, certainly exposed resources, but then a spot to dig a little place that I can hide out in that's near plenty of resources. So we do have lots of, you know, grass here that's going to eventually give us food. Um, and I think that this area right here is going to end up being a pretty good place to dig into. Let's just make sure it's not super thin. Uh, no, this will work fine. Uh, exposed rock like that often will have um, some resources as well. You do have to be careful in woods because sometimes uh, the mobs that I was talking about earlier will hide out in there uh, because it blocks the sun. They, they can survive in there for some time. Now I'm not seeing any food. Okay, here we go. We got some sheep, some pigs over there. So we will deal with those later. Let's get started on some other resources. So let's move our seeds out of the way for now. So just go up to any tree. I usually start with the oak trees. They're more plentiful. And just start punching it. And they will break down. And you're going to walk up to them and grab them. Okay, so here we have two oak wood. Pick them up. And you can see you equip them with your mouse wheel. Uh, and then just punch up the rest of this tree. And you can see the, the rate at which the, they kind of decay. All right, sun's straight overhead, so it's noon. So we do need to stay focused. So let's not go too far. Let's just go to the next tree. Okay, you see the rate at which that kind of breaks up? Once we've got a handful here, now let's just um, hit the E key. And we'll grab our oak, and you see you have a small crafting area up here. If you put four wood of any, sorry, not four wood of any kind, I'm getting ahead of myself. If we put all of our wood uh, in one spot, it will, for each one of these, we'll get four oak planks. So, so you get four, and then four. You can, you can just continue to hit the right arrow key until you get however much you want. Um, or you could hit shift and left arrow key and pick, just convert all of it um, without going through that process. So now if you put four wood planks here, um, wood of any kind, we happen to have oak, you'll get a crafting table. The crafting table is going to be your best friend. That's going to allow us to create many, many more things. So first, let's just drop a couple planks in each one. And you'll see when you put two, two planks in a configuration like this, for each you know, one of these, you'll get four sticks. So now we have two. So we'll get four sticks, eight sticks, right? So now um, let's craft some tools. The first one we'll craft is an ax. So two like this is a handle, and then you have some configuration here that gives you different tools. So first we'll craft our ax. That'll get us going. Uh, we are going to need also a shovel, which is two sticks and a plank. And while we, let's just go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe which we'll need to break up rock and other hard materials. All right, so this gives us enough to get started. Let's chop some more trees down. And I would just kind of stay, you know, if you have a bunch of trees co-located, stay in that area so you're not running around too much. And you can see how much faster these break down. We didn't actually finish this one. Now, one thing that will happen once you start to, once your tree starts to break down, sorry, once you've chopped the whole tree down, so all of the wood connected to the leaves here, the tree will actually start to break down. And if we're lucky, we may get an apple or two. Okay, um, 
and they may also drop saplings. Let's get this one. Pretty soon we're going to need to check on the time. We don't want to be working in the dark. Uh, here we go. So here's a sapling. So you're going to want to pick those up, especially early in the game. Um, you can use those to plant trees closer to your base. Okay, let's see. Here we are. Uh, yeah, we have to get moving soon. Um, you can also burn them if it comes down to it. That's probably just a flower. Oh, no, we did get an apple. Excellent. You can also break these up a little bit yourself. Uh, I haven't found anything that works. Some people think that if you you know, hit them with, your, with the tree or if you hit them with your hand. Let's just go ahead and grab these saplings. There's plenty of wood here. We don't need to replant, uh, but we can use this as fuel. And I think we've got plenty to get ourselves through the night. So let's just go ahead and break this down. Bring our crafting table with us. Like I was saying earlier, I think that this is going to be a good spot here. Um, you know, this could even eventually be a nice watchtower. You know, look at the view over our harbor. I don't know if we can get down here safely. So I'm going to set up, again, rather than build, try, you know, in the time that we have to build some sort of a house or structure, because uh, we are, the sun is going to set here real fast. I'm actually going to, I'm going to dig straight into this, um, this hillside here. So let's go ahead and clear out a little bit of this. And, you know, don't worry too much about getting it set up in a way that you want it. Let's just get it, let's just get ourselves in here. So dig too high, you know, eventually you're going to want to kind of clear this so you have a nice even surface, but just too high. You know, you can see it looks like a door. So the dirt and sand, you'll use the shovel. When you get to stone like this, we're going to need to use our pickaxe. And again, just start off too high um, like that. And we want to get eight of these. Now you can do one of two things. You can actually close this up. Um, I will just put uh, one block high here. So let's get our crafting table, and we'll move these eventually. So we'll get our crafting table, grab our cobblestone, which is what happens when you mine stone. It breaks up into cobblestone. Put them in a ring like this, so you need eight of them, and you end up with a furnace. Furnace is going to allow us to create some light in the middle of the night. Um, as you can see, we can right-click on our furnace, and if we take some of our oak wood, put it up here on the top, we can burn it. We can burn it with our oak saplings. Those will burn very fast. So they may not even be enough. Um, but if they are not, you know, as this progresses, we get ourselves a charcoal. So we'll use some of our oak planks here to make a few more charcoal. Um, you know, we, we don't need many. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves three to get started. Okay. As soon as we have three, pull this off, let that burn. It may, it may actually burn all the way through to four. And you don't have to watch it, right? You can, you can just let it go. It provides a little bit of light for us while it's burning. And then as you can see when it ends, it goes dark again. But let's grab our charcoal, let's grab our oak wood out of here, okay? And then in our crafting area, we put our charcoal here. Well, we have four, so we're gonna need. I'm gonna want four sticks. So let's go ahead and make some more sticks, like so. And then you could just put four here, but it's only gonna make the maximum possible. So we're gonna get 16 here and have two left. So now, if we equip our torch, which is what we just made, we can then stick it on the wall and get ourselves some light here. Now. I like to have a window so I can see. It is a little risky. We could, um, you know, we could get shot at with an arrow. There are, there's one creature that can crawl through here. Um, so you can also just close it up and check, you know, or listen. There's certain music that will play. 
Um, but now we have 10 minutes to kill. And so we can't go outside safely. We can't sleep. So let's clear away a little bit here and make this a little bit more of a functional area. You know, too high is perfect. That will that's as much as you need for the size you are. Um, you know, you may want to go three high. That actually looks a little better. And um, when you start to sleep, you'll be better off. Now we have some coal, which is great. Right here, we've stumbled right into coal. So we won't have to make any more charcoal, which certainly works, but is kind of a pain in the butt. Now you'll see. As we use our tools, they start to degrade. Um, and when they are empty, when that red bar or the green bar gets all the way to the end, they will break and they will be, <clears throat> um, they'll be gone. So you can repair them if you combine two that are, um, you know, sort of uh, low. You can combine them. And you'll get something a little better than the two of them, but a wood pickaxe is not all that useful, so let's just go ahead and burn it up. And let's see, let's make ourselves a stone pickaxe. Okay, so just like the wood pickaxe, you put two sticks, but this time you put three cobblestone across the top and you get a stone pickaxe. It's going to be a little more useful. Well, let's go ahead and burn this up. Um, see, now it's gone. We can pull this down. And if you hear there's some music playing right now, that indicates that it is should be midnight. So let's just take a look. It's still pretty dark. Um, the other thing you can do is just stay away from the door. All right, so I'm going to build myself a little bedroom. I always do. Um, the other thing that I often like to do, let's just go ahead and grab all these resources, is start a, a mine. So I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but for the, for the moment, let's go ahead and grab all these resources. Now, if we imagine that we may be down here for a while, or that let's say we can't find sheep and we have to come back a couple days in a row and kill 10 minutes while it's nighttime. You know, one thing that we can do is just build a mine and look for, you know, the deeper you go generally, the better resources we're going to find. So, um, now as you can see, as you get further away from a light source, oh, what's that? I think I see... Spider? Maybe not. Um, I like to make my mines three wide. So let's just imagine that we'll put a door here. And then we'll go three wide once we get inside here. And the only reason to put a door, not that you really need to, um, but you know, depending on what you end up uncovering, you may find 
that creatures come creeping out of the mine. So I'll show you how to make a door real quick. Uh, the moon is setting. When it gets to the bottom there, we'll have survived our first night. So if you take any kind of wood and put it three high next to each other, you'll get three doors. And each wood produces a slightly different door with a different look. Um, but you can then place the doors like so. You kind of target the block you want them to sit on top of, and then there you are. As soon as the sun comes up, it's starting to become daylight, we will go there and put a door at our front door. Uh, and now, you know, I will just start digging down. And we're not going to want to run out the minute the sun comes up because there could be some mobs that haven't uh, dissipated, that haven't either burned up or taken off. They will spawn as long as you're awake. Um, but just to show you what I do, let's say we aren't able to make a bed. Um, we'll gather some resources, particularly food will become of a concern very quickly. Uh, but I will just start digging down stepwise. And I go three wide, you don't have to. You could go one wide, you could go two wide. Um, I wouldn't go straight down until you have some ladders. That can be very dangerous. By going three wide, you get a little bit better ex you know, exposure to veins of um, ore that may be on either side of the direction you're going. Uh, if you just want to make some progress early, you can go kind of one deep straight down. Oh, there we go. Look more coal. This is exactly why you do this. As you go further and further down, you will find more and more resources. Um, and I just burned up my pickaxe, so it's a good time to come up and see what the weather's like. Now close the door to your mind before you take off, because if you did open up a chasm to something, um, it could be a problem. Now before we go out, one other thing that's vital to have. Let's go ahead and make a few more sticks and put one stick on the bottom here and put two stone. Right? You can see in a very short time I've accumulated a lot of cobblestone that we can build all sorts of things with. Um, but you are going to want a stone sword. We can't make uh, any other kind of sword just yet because we don't have any other materials just yet, but I wouldn't go back outside at least without the stone sword. So that if we run into any trouble And if we hit the number one, you want to run out and you want to look around really quickly to see if there's any trouble. All right, so we've made it through our first night. Let's go ahead and put a door here so we can not have to worry about blocking it up and unblocking it. And then the other thing you're going to want to do, or at least I do, is let's put some torches up high so that as it gets later and later, if we are running around, um, let's go up here actually, if we're running around and we've maybe lost our way a little bit, um, you know, uh, need to find our way back, that we can have a little place to look at a symbol there. So, sorry, not a symbol, but um, you know, like a beacon. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say you know, say we're way over there, we'll be able to see this um, and make our way back. It's not, that's not going to be a really strong beacon. We're not going to want to go too far. Uh, the other thing let's check out is, uh, where were we before? Let's see if any other apples or anything fell. They may have, yeah, they just despawned. They didn't stick around. All right, so we're going to need food. That's going to become a big problem for us. So let's go just show you how to grab some food. So we can keep chopping trees down. Maybe they'll drop some apples. Maybe they won't. But if we take our sword, if it's going to take a couple hits. He's going to try to run away. Ah, there we go. We've got three, three raw pork chops. So that... That will help. That'll that'll take care of us for a little while until we can come back on another episode and show you how to get some food production going 
so that you don't starve very quickly. Anyhow, we've made it through our first night. I'm going to cook these pork chops up. Um, let's actually eat our apple by us some time. As you can see, that gave us two little meat pops. Um, so we've got a little more health. Uh, but I'm going to let you go here. That's our first night. We've got a place to stay. Uh, we've got something to keep ourselves busy here. We'll just keep working on building up some resources. And um, like I said, up next, we'll focus on getting some food production going. Thanks a lot. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and like my video. Um, or feel free to drop a comment below on what you'd like to see next. Thanks a lot.